And here we are in Flushing, New York, at Mito's restaurant. We've come to meet Athena Teodoropoulos and Costas Teodoropoulos, who's going to give us a great recipe for Spanakopita, their specialty. And Athena, this is the new Greek town. It's all Greeks here, all Greek, the new generation, young mothers, the school across the street. It's all young, you know, mothers, grandmothers, granddaughters, and they all like the Greek, the to, Greek to learn how to cook. Mediterranean, you know, we try and all that. All natural, all natural. The yes. moms are passing it down to the daughters and the daughters to their daughters. And this is Northern Boulevard. There's a lot of Greek stores here. There's Oasis, there's the beautiful St. Nicholas Church. There's a Greek barbershop, Greek nails, Greek anything. Everything is Greek here. Gyro, some black places. You gotta check out the new Greek town here, which is in Bayside, Whitestone, and Flushing. So we're gonna go inside and see what Costa has in store for us with the Spanakopita. The master chef Costadino Sadoropoulos, they are from Nafpacto. They're going to give us their specialty here at Mythos. We came here this morning, we invaded their kitchen. We're very excited. We see a lot of fresh vegetables here. What are we going to do, Costadino? We're going to do spinach pie, uh, traditional from Nafpacto. That's uh, grandma's recipe. Yeah, yeah's recipe. I think now, in a specialty. Yes. Yeah. This is your specialty, and everybody comes here from all over Bayside and, and Flushing and Long Island. Great Neck, Manhattan. Great Neck, Manhattan, just for the, for a lot of things, but <laughs> their specialty. All right, let's see what we have here. So we got the dough that I fix. Now, th we have to talk about this for a second. This is Hiropito, filo. This is a handmade uh, uh, filo, which is very difficult, and many, not many people do this today. And we're gonna have to come back for another show with Athena to show, show you us how to, do it. How to <laughs> open filo, rumeliotico style. Let's see, Yes, that's what she told me earlier. And we're gonna bring all the young girls because we want all of us want to learn. I'm not young, but the girls are gonna be young. All of us want to learn how to open a filo. We have to keep the tradition alive. It's in nothing else. Yes, yes. Okay. Costadine, show me how you're gonna do this now. Okay, so we start over. Now, when you make the filo, you always have to, the dough, you always yeah. have to keep it covered with uh, alevri? Yeah, a little bit. If it's, it has to be... To keep it uh, moist? Yeah, moist a little bit. So we start, we take it in bowl and we open it up. All right. And put some more flour. So this is going to make a full pan, yeah? Yeah. So it's a little moist. So when you put the alevri, it helps it uh, expand better yeah. without breaking. It doesn't stick. It doesn't stick, exactly. All the secrets, you're going to find them <laughs> out on Calimera USA. And in September, we're going to do more episodes like this with Athena. We're going to do a lot of great episodes for new Nico Quires. <laughs> new generation. New generation Greek American girls and guys, because we have a lot of uh, most of the chefs at the restaurants are men. And young. Yeah. And young, of course. <laughs> <laughs> and from Greece, they're coming over from Greece. But, uh, Costadina, what made you get involved with uh, cooking? Did you always like to, to uh, yeah, cook? Yeah, I was watching my mother and my grandmother do that. In, so, in that factor. So it doesn't stick the filo too. No. It's okay, it's getting a little sticky. And we're gonna do the second part. We're gonna put one more filo. So two filo? Yeah, two filo for down. Yeah, first one is stick. That's okay. Now, can somebody use gluten free? Does it work with gluten free flour? It's yes. very in fashion these days. No, gluten free is, is, uh, has been found to have a lot of nutritional. Uh, benefits instead of uh, wheat. Some people are allergic to wheat. There's, they have celiac uh, disease. So can they open the filo as good with uh, gluten-free? Uh, not really, like this. Yeah. They can open it, but you it's can't do it. Very, you can't do gluten-free. Keep it old-fashioned. Gluten all the way. Get a tiara with anything. So right? This needs a, a lot of practice to do to open up filo. Yeah, like everything else in life, you have to practice a little <laughs> bit. How many years did it take you to become a master? How many years? I've worked in a couple of hotels with different chefs and different people, so I learned from each other. 
different and, stuff. And your specialty and I is mix Greek? It up. Your specialty is Greek? Yeah. Greek, not only Greek. How do you feel about the new type of Greek uh, cooking that they're doing? It's, it's more mixed and gourmet. Do you think that Greek food should be... Should be more lighter than before. And this is the second filo. Cosadin is going to put on top. You put more olive oil. Yeah, a little bit. Athena and Cosadin, of course. What are your thoughts about uh, the modern Greek cuisine that they're mixing it, they're making it gourmet and they're experimenting? I don't believe in mixing the Greek with, uh, you know, any other food. I think it should stay traditional Greek food. Costa with uh, yeah. olive oil, lemon, you know, oregano. Mediterranean. Keep Mediterranean. it Mediterranean. Yeah, exactly. Stuff you put is better. So the exactly. less stuff you put is better. Now, I know the Greek cuisine can be heavy at times. Do you have any advice for the uh, viewers at home about yeah. what type of ingredients they should be using? Fresh ingredients and whatever you will need to fry, don't fry, just put it in the oven, in a pan. Just a little bit of oil, little touches, and put it in the oven. In the oven instead of frying, guys. You heard it from the masters here at Mythos. Whatever is that. Eggplants, chicken, chicken nuggets, french oh, fries, even french fries you can do in the oven. No, it's just not. Yeah. And the moussaka, what do we do with the... Moussaka, the... it's in the oven too. That's how we made it. Beautiful. You don't fry it. So now we are moving on. We're done with our filo, the bottom of the filo. It's two coats. Yeah, and we're gonna make another one for the middle. We're gonna split the ingredients in half. So you split the ingredients in half and you do two layers. Two layers. Ah, yeah. Jorge, oh, I cannot wait to try this <laughs> This is a specialty, guys. You really have to come out to Mythos here in Flushing. It's located right across the street from St. Nicholas Church. It is an amazing, right after church, just come on over. And for all of those non-Greeks, it's so easy to get here, very easy. You get directions off MapQuest. You're here in 25 minutes from the city. Take a ride out. Visit Flushing, it's got a lot to offer. The new Greek community. It's the new little Athens. Oh, yeah. And Yana, we come here now. We have all the ingredients, the fresh spinach, the leeks, and the scallions, and dill. You chop them up? And feta cheese. Then first we chop them up all. We mix them all together. We put inside the eggs. So three eggs. Three eggs inside. OK, great. And then, uh, and then we'll take a feta cheese. And we're just gonna break it with our hands. We're gonna break the feta cheese with our hands. Can we buy already crushed, or it's better to buy it fresh? And uh, some places they have. I don't think all the places they have. So eight feta ounces. Cheese. Yeah, eight ounces of feta. Of sharp feta, Athena. Sharp feta. She made it a point to say that to yeah. me. Yeah, na is sharp. Yeah, you got some salt in it. You know? Yeah, it's gotta have some salt. Some they have salt. that because notice they're not putting any salt in any pepper. No salt. No pepper. Beautiful. Just the ingredients. Then and olive oil. Just and olive oil. olive oil. Again, the olive oil is always in the mix. And beautiful. And we mix everything up and it's in the bowl. Yes, we mix everything up. And we're going to put half of it first. And then we're going to put the filo that we have ready. And the other half on top of it. And then I have to fix two more. So we have, we're mixing it up and then we're going to put the first layer. Yes. Bravo. Wow, that's a nice thick later. Mm. And now we're moving along to make two more filos, yes? Yes, first we're going to put the middle one. So we'll put the other half of the ingredients. So we want to fill the pan, it right? Looks, it looks very thick, but when it cooks, it's getting very low down because it's fresh, everything. So once it's everything is cooked. cooking, it, it kind of flattens out. Yes. So you might think it's, it's kind of full, but really it's, out. it's going to lose a lot of... And here's our second layer, and we're ready for to top it off. How many more layers, Cosadina Filo? Four layers of Filo. And then we cut it and place it in the oven for one hour. On uh, 350 degrees, and it's ready to eat. Guys. And it's ready to eat. So let's finish it up. 
So now Costadina is cutting the edges off the filo. Yeah, I got the edges off, so we put the top ones. So in order to put the top ones, we cut the edges off. What do we do with the extra? <laughs> extra, you can make another one. Oh, good. And I'm gonna make another one. The filo is okay. Oh, bravo, see, we don't throw it away. No, we don't throw nothing away. Nothing gets thrown away, especially food. And we're off to the races with one more. And we're gonna open one more and then close it together. We're gonna cut the edges again. So we'll push it with the knife inside. We're gonna just cut a little bit on the top. Now we're cutting it for what? For it to breathe? For feces and for breathe, too. And for just the water, the water to stay in there. Nothing to grow. All right. No olive oil on top? Oh, we do we put olive oil on top. A little olive oil on top. Just to make a nice color. Just to make a nice color? Yes. Or it's in a... Nice and crispy. To become nice and crispy. And it's ready for the oven in one hour, ready to eat. Enjoy. <laughs> You're the best, Costadina. Nafbak Tostal spinach pie. Right here at Mito's restaurant. In one hour, we're gonna, we're gonna eat it. <laughs> Come back and try it. Athena and I are back. We're ready to eat. I know she eats it every day, but I'm waiting wait. to eat for an hour. I think I'm ready to take okay. it out. So you guys ready. gonna enjoy it. Okay. Wow. Popo, keep this is the pie. It was up and I was almost half down. You notice so. when he make it, how it was like up to here? But as you cook, it goes down because everything is fresh and it's all water. Uh, you know, it flattens up, but it was flattens you know, out, but it looks fantastic. Let's cut a piece. Yeah. <laughs> Peter screaming in the background. <laughs> Athena's husband. <laughs> that looks awesome. See, the pieces are kind of pre-cut, so it's easier to cut. And you notice yes. how crispy it is that when he cuts it, it's you, you hear the crispy. Is that because of that's, the olive oil? That's the olive oil, right? Don't put a lot now, but you know, keep <laughs> on it. Oh, fabulous. Finish pie? Yeah, yeah, style pita pie. Enjoy. Enjoy. I'm gonna enjoy, enjoy believe me. <laughs> We're gonna enjoy this, trust me. The crew wants some. Very hard. Guys, thank you so much. We're Thank very you. happy to, that you were on Calimera USA. We're happy to have you here. We're going to see more of uh, Costa Dinos and I'll Latina. Show you more secrets. He's gonna, they're going to show us more secrets from uh, Mitos here in Flushing. And you got to come down and try it out because it's an amazing spinach pie. No joke. Totally worth it. Thanks, guys. Thank you again.